All right, guys. I apologize for <laughs> the walk and talk here, and as I almost trip over a rock, I'm just trying to make tracks back to my car. I don't know if you can see it on the monitor right now, but the snow is coming down, and it's giving this hike a nice kind of very just pleasant, pleasant feel to it. Ah, oh, so nice to be out when everything's quiet, except for me. And the snow's coming down. It's just a very scenic hike. It's giving it a very Christmassy feel. We're pretty close to it. I think at the time we're recording this, we're a week and two days away from Christmas. So. Something, I thought I heard a bird. Um, anyway, y'all are probably thinking to yourselves, great. A third video where he's out walking in the woods in snow. More tree photos. Well, kinda. <laughs> Let me kind of explain the situation to you guys. And hopefully not fall and kill myself while I'm walking here. So, I'm back in Colorado after spending the Thanksgiving holiday in Oregon. And we had a winter storm roll through last night. And it dropped probably three or four, maybe five inches in places of fresh powder. And so, I decided that I was gonna get out and explore and see if I could find any images out here at my local state park while the powder is still relatively fresh. So, took a couple of hours here in the afternoon to come out and explore the state park that is deer tracks down there. But I haven't seen any deer, but I came out, spent a couple hours just exploring my local state park here and see if I can find any any images. I've shot out here before, and I can say with absolute certainty that shooting out at this I'm out at Cheyenne Mountain State Park and shooting out here is very, very difficult because it is completely full of just like shrub oak, scrub oak. So trying to find a unique image is pretty pretty darn difficult so that's what i've been doing i've been hiking the trail trying to see if i can find an image we got lucky out there at the beginning as you saw with that one image of that tree up on the hillside there with the uh, clouds silhouetting and moving and giving some nice eerie mist kind of feel to that image so that image i shot probably three more than three, I shot probably about, oh, a dozen, if not 15 frames, just continuously as the clouds were changing and just trying to get an image that I like. So, it had a good start right there and then, you know, hiked three or four miles in and just nothing, really just struggling. There were places where I thought that I saw a good image, but as I got closer, it just became too chaotic. Like I said, loads of scrub oak and shrub oak out here. So, just didn't happen. And, uh, you know, I was kind of not trying to really have any expectations of what I would find out here. Just hoping I would find something. So, luckily, I have my Tamron 150 to 600 with me now. I left it at my apartment when I went to Oregon. And I kind of regretted it because I could have really used it out on that trip for some of those shots but I've got it with me now and I've just had it on the whole day slung over my shoulder on a strap and yeah it actually did come in handy because right when I was about to give up I saw well really I heard what was a J now the J flew off before I could get any photos of it but then I noticed on the ground something hopping around and I zoomed in and it was these two little, I'm not sure what they are exactly. I don't, I'm not very good on identifying bird species. If anybody knows what those birds are, let me know in the comment below. Um, but yeah, it's got super lucky. So I spent a few, a few minutes photographing and I got a little bit of video. So not a day wasted, I don't think. And I think I got one or two images from those birds that I actually really, really like. They're definitely, I'm definitely gonna have noise issues with those images because I was shooting at 10,000 ISO at 
an aperture of 6.5, which is the widest that I can get on the 600 millimeter range on my Tamron. So, definitely a lot of high noise images, and I'm not sure I got really any good, any solidly sharp images either. But one or two that I do like, that I like just be in my personal collection. So, yeah, not a bad way to end this day. So, sorry about the light, guys. It's getting really dark. The sun has definitely gone down, which is why I'm trying to get back to my car. Oh. Anyway, just a short video today. So, yeah, just a short little video today. Just a quick little hike, spending a couple hours out in the wilderness, trying to escape from the chaos that is the, the Christmas, the Christmas rush, trying to get everything done before the holiday. So... Uh, I don't know if I'm going to have any more videos coming out this year, guys. Uh, my girlfriend is in town, and I want to spend time with her. And I still have to work my day job for a few. And I've got friends in town, too. I should mention that. First of all, i got a friend who's flying into Denver, so I'm going to try and meet up with her sometime before Christmas. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, the whole point I'm trying to make here is I don't know if I'm going to be able to pump out any more videos this year. So... If this does turn out to be my last video of the year, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. So, I think I'm just gonna wrap it up here and head on back to my car. Ooh, dark area here. So, guys, until next time, I apologize for the bumpy video. I'll try to make it better, a little cleaner on the next one, which may very well be in 2020. So, anyway, until next time, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you hit that notification bell. And, oh, sorry about that. Got caught in my jacket. And, yeah, just stay tuned, guys. Plenty more content to come in the new year. So, if I don't see you guys again in 2019, which I'm thinking this might be my last video of 2019, I will see you guys in 2020. And so, here's to a Merry Christmas to all of you and to a Happy New Year. I hope you all enjoy it, however you do. And until next time, I will see you in 2020 out on the trail.